Look at me. Look at me, Tori. I'm gonna marry you and ain't nothing nobody could do about it. What are you doing here? Girl, you already know I wasn't gonna miss my sister's big wedding. Mm. Yo, I got a surprise for you though. Yo, Nate, so what's the surprise that? What the fuck? For real, bro? You good? Kev, you gonna accept his apartment? Come on, Kev. I can't. Kev. Kev. I'll take you away from here. I'll take you. Wanna be wrapped up to round I'm so gone off the things you Oh baby I think I'm in love with you Take a hit, burn it down Karma circles around Wanna keep up with your head to the ground Can't say too much cause my head's in the clouds I'm on a plane to New York I make way to LA then Tokyo UK the islands and take a trip Back to the first place Lauderdale That's where I stay Then the bridges came falling down Falling down Upper up came Upper up came falling down Falling down Yeah, yeah. When you need it I just to push it aside yeah. So I'm leaving behind ya If anyone that I say Could've made you forget I'd have given you the more uh, But it was wrong uh -huh. In my head And we're burning all the bridges now Why should we go up in the flames No way to build it up again And we're burning all the bridges now Cause it was sick or swim And I went in the time Dude, I tell you how proud I am of you, big sis. You're such a beautiful bride. And on top of that, achieving a dream many women wish for. Oh, thank you. I mean, it's still so surreal to me. I feel like just yesterday I was single and now I'm madly in love with Nathan. Are you sure you're ready for this? Yeah, I mean, we love each other and this is just one last big step. <laughs> Jumping the broom. I know. It's crazy. This is the greatest moment for a mother like me. My two girls reaching big milestones, huh? Tamika graduating from Sojourner State, and Tori, you finally jump in the room. <laughs> I just said that. <laughs> oh. Can I be happy for my two beautiful daughters? No, Mom, do your thing. Oh, honey, I'm gonna be doing my thing, twerking on the uh, dance floor. No, Mom, stop. What you do you mean? always go a step too far. Oh, oh come on. I, I can twerk, believe me, I can twerk. Please don't. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, listen, baby, I just want to tell you that, you know, your dad can't come today. It was short notice and he can't leave the base in Germany. I already know. I, I spoke to him last night for like three hours. He already told me. You did? I'll be right back. You spoke to him? Yeah. Well, what did he say? I mean, he apologized a million times about it, but he said he couldn't make it. Oh, okay. Well, you know, he's always busy. He never has time to show up. He's always too busy. Busy, busy, busy. Oh, Can't even Mom, be here today. Mom, please don't start. I don't no, want I'm... any negativity today. What? what I... he... Okay. All right. So. I mean, he did say he was sending me a gift, and it should be here. So. He's sending you a present? Yeah. What kind of present? This present, baby. Signed, sealed, and delivered. Daddy! <laughs> you didn't think I was going to miss this, did you? Aw. 
you knew about this this whole time, didn't you? <laughs> yep. <laughs> How did it go? Not too good. You wasn't really hearing anything I was trying to say. What did you say exactly? I apologize for one. I told him I wish I could take everything back. But it wasn't enough. I guess it's gonna take some more time. Damn. He must have really loved that girl. He did. Cause I'm just an idiot sometimes. We know. Lighten up. Look, you gave it your all. I know you did. I noticed a big change in you, Raheem. And I like it. More mature and more in touch with your emotions. Surprisingly, prison will do that to you. But that's not gonna make things back to the way it was before. You don't know that. When he's ready to talk, I'm sure he'll come to you. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. God works in mysterious ways. You just have to have faith. Let me fix your bow tie. What's wrong with my bow tie? Stand up. You better stop. You trying to start something? Please. Alright. Hey, Kira. Hey, Kev. Uh, do you mind if I talk to Raheem for a minute? Sure. What's up, man? All right, so after the party, I did a lot of thinking. And with everything that I've gone through, you guys have always forgiven me. And I'm really appreciative for that. And this is really hard for me because you know Stacy's a sore spot. But she's moved on now. So I, th I think it's only right if I completely move on, too. I got Vanessa now, and honestly, I, I couldn't have asked for a better woman. So with that being said, um, I just want to apologize for not hearing you out and to let you know that I forgive you. Not completely, but enough to look past everything. We're cool? Cool. I'm not gonna lie, that made my day, man. <laughs> hey, that's good and all, but let's get in there and help our brother celebrate his day. All right? All right. Thanks. Oh, you're gonna need this. What's this? Your suit. Your best man number two. You serious? Yeah, now hurry up and change. The wedding's gonna start soon. All right, come on. Oh, one more thing. If you ever touch Vanessa, I will literally kill you. Please don't test me. Good talk. You ready for this, man? Man, I was born ready. Well, good. They're calling us to the altar, so let's get out there. You mean they calling me to the altar? Yo, Kev, I'm not playing with you, man. I'm not going out there with just you. I told you, all I needed for my wedding was for you and Raheem to be my groomsmen. We've been boys for the longest and I asked you for one thing, Kev. Just suck it up, put your pride to the side. I thought you was better than that. What's up, man? I made this look good, ain't it? Man, you was gonna make me go <laughs> off on you like that? Yeah, I, I never seen that. <laughs> seen what? Me go off? Uh, no, a groomzilla. <laughs> <laughs> Man, whatever, man. Bring it in, man. The boys are back, man. Right, I'm about right. to get married, y'all boys. Come all right, on. All right. Come on, let's do this. <laughs> let's do this, man. 
I got you though. I had you. I love y'all. <laughs>
Till death us do part. Till death us do part. Accord, according to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto I pledge you my devotion. And thereto I pledge you my devotion. Bless, O oh Lord, these rings that they who gave them and they who wear them may abide in thy peace and continue in thy favor unto their life's end. Through Jesus Christ, O oh Lord. Amen. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed. I thee wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. And of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And the Holy Ghost. And of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Those whom God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Amen. For as much as Nathan and Torian have consented together in holy wedlock, and have witnessed the same before God and this company, and therefore have given and pledged their troth each to the other, and have declared the same by giving and receiving of ring, and by joining hands, I now pronounce that they are man and wife in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost, bless and preserve and keep you. The Lord patiently with his favor look upon you and fill you with all spiritual benediction and grace that ye may so live together in this life that in the world to come ye may have life everlasting. You may now kiss the bride. Ladies and gentlemen, I now, I now present you Mr. and Mrs. Nathan Gregory Bell. Woo! reception. Think again. <laughs> I'm sorry, should I know who you are? Yeah, you should. I'm Vanessa, Kevin's girlfriend. Mm. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Yeah. You know, I think you need to leave because we don't need your foolishness here today. Don't worry, sweetie. I'm not trying to take your man again. Um, I'm just here for Nathan. You know, that's funny because I talked to the boys and they don't want you here either. Oh, is that right? Yeah. <sighs> leave or get escorted out. You know what? 
Fuck you and this wedding. Oh, hey. there you are. Where were you? I was just handling some business. All right, well, let's get in there. They're about to introduce us. I'm not going to the party. I know, but you're my girl. I don't want everybody to know that. All right. Let's go. So, since you're not doing anything tonight, come grab a bite to eat with me. As one of the best men, uh, I'd like to make a toast to all my close friends, Nathan, Tori, Kira, Rahim, and everybody else who came out to support my friends on their special day. You know, I've known Nathan since middle school, and it's funny because out of all of us, we thought he was going to be the last one to get married, but now look at him, sitting there like the black Monopoly man. But, <laughs> but seriously though. He found the love of his life in Tori. And, you know, now that she's in the picture, it's a wrap. He's matured a lot, and he's the glue that, that holds our crew together. You know, we've, we probably would have crumbled years ago if it wasn't for him. You know, he's, he's been with me through my toughest times, and you know, he's, he's more than a friend to me. He's my brother. I love you, man. And I wish nothing but the best for you and Tori. But when you guys have kids, if you have a boy, it'd be cool if you named him Kevin. But, um, no. beyond, <laughs> but beyond that, you know, I wish nothing but the best, and here's to you and your happiness. Oh, man. Oh, man. Um, I'm gonna keep this short and simple. Uh, what he said. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> Nathan, Tori, I guess I knew you guys since middle school. It's like well over 15 years now. Um, you guys always kept it real with me. I appreciate you for that. Uh, Y'all are my best friends. Honestly, your best friends anyone could ever ask for. I wish the best for you. Thank y'all for being there. I met Tori in ninth grade. We were both trying out for the varsity cheer squad because I guess we thought we were the cream of the crop. Turned out we were, and we both made varsity as freshmen. From there on, we bonded, and we both realized that we both had the same willpower and dedication it takes to make in this world. I admire Tori. She never asks for a handout from anyone. Whatever she wants, she gets herself. I love you, Tori, and I love you, Nate. From day one, they had a chemistry that was undeniable. Nate was on the basketball team at our high school. He will always come around cracking jokes. <laughs> he knew how to make us laugh. And I believe that's what put him in the position that he is in right now. Marrying my BFF, Tori. I wish you guys nothing but the best, 
and I love you guys. Excuse me, can I have everyone's attention? What are you doing? Relax, I got this. Kira, we've been together for almost three years, and time has flew. But you know what they say, time flies when you're having fun. And it's been that and so much more. I know we had our arguments, but I wouldn't want to go through our ups and downs with anyone besides you. Because you're my soul man. And we're destined to be together. What are you doing? Kira, I promise to love you for the rest of my life. I promise to cherish you. I promise to never let you down. Will you marry me? i